My dad came here in 1928. At that stage, a lot of it was very unproductive, green timber and lots of rabbits. And I can remember as a kid, the, there were about 1,800 sheep and 30 cattle. And, and on that same area today, we run 6,000 sheep and probably with calves, 400, 450 head of cattle. It's a fibre that's probably rare in the wool industry. People have always said that the wool at Karora is the softest wool they've ever seen in Australia. We feel pretty privileged and we're pretty excited about it. When Andrew Ross from Bluey Merino showed us the fabrics this morning, it was just like, wow! and um, especially the fabrics that were finished because they're so soft to the touch and just feel so sensational next to the skin. And I just thought, yes, that's what we're trying to do. I suppose you, you get a fair buzz out of it because you know that you've produced, that you know, you've grown that wool on, on your place. So, um, yeah, no, it's pretty special, I reckon. It's pretty exciting. Like, we could be wearing our wool and it's not a chunky knitted jumper, it's a nice soft yeah. fabric. Rob and Katrina have done a lot of work to get the softness in there and so we want to continue the softness and it's something that's quite unique to Karora sheep. It was just so good to get the garment here today and one of the shearers in the shed had actually shorn half the sheep that year so half that garment he had on he'd shorn three years ago and I said to him as he left the shed tonight I said how did it feel wearing that singlet? And he said it was just absolutely amazing. He said you couldn't feel it, it was so soft. That was uh, just so lovely to hear someone that was working, he was sweating, he was shearing sheep, and he had it against his skin and it just felt so good. That, that's really a good feeling for us.